Recently, a driverless car hit and killed the pedestrian. This has never happened before. Immediately, people begin asking, if these cars are programmed to be perfect driving machines, why did this happen? Should these cars be allowed on public streets? These are understandable concerns, but every technical revolution comes at a price. First, we must accept that accidents can and will occur when humans are involved, even with vehicles operated by artificial intelligence. The first pedestrian was killed by an automobile in 1896. A woman in Britain was struck by a car moving at just four miles per hour, but that didn't stop automobile manufacturing. The benefits of cars over horses was obvious. The risk was worth the reward. The same holds true with driverless cars. Long term, these vehicles will reduce accidents, make transportation more affordable to more people, and increase fuel efficiency. Right now, lawmakers understand these benefits and are passing various laws permitting driverless cars on public streets. People need to be better educated about the role of the driver and pedestrians in these new vehicles. For example, you can't assume a vehicle will stop if you decide to jaywalk. After some public initiation, then we can shift driverless cars into gear. Driverless cars are worth the risk as long as we proceed with caution.